Starting off our morning at Eastern Market. It is a farmer's market, but there are restaurants, coffee shops, clothing stores, and art galleries. There's live music Saturday mornings. There's free samples because there are always free samples at a market, and we're gonna go check it out. to snow outside it's a little bit cold part of the market is inside but the parts that are outside are cold for now we are going to head to CrossFit in the D which is right downtown and we're gonna go do hopefully a really tough wad and yeah dogs here. I'm never leaving. Okay, so we're just leaving CrossFit in the D. We just dropped in there for a quick workout. It was really good. The people were really nice and now we are headed for coffee because we are very badly in need of coffee. Yep. <laughs> and we are going to our favorite coffee shop in Detroit. It's called Astro Coffee and it's in Corktown. What are you doing? Eating. Eating what? A delicious croissant from Eastern Market. Aren't we going for croissants to Astro? No, we're going to get an egg sandwich from Astro and coffee. in Detroit, um, but we decided to stop in. This is Bon Bon Bon, which is the cutest little specialty chocolate shop. I can't decide. No, between. between. Do I go normal, like, hazelnut or strawberry balsamic? One is s'mores, and that's only for me because Jason hates everything s'mores, and I am obsessed with them. How's that one? It's really good. Graham cracker, and then chocolate ganache, and then marshmallow goo. Just delicious, obviously. We are on our way right now to do an architecture tour of the Fisher Building, which is a super historic building in Detroit. And the tour starts in about eight minutes and we're not there yet and we should be. But now we're gonna be late for our tour, probably for chocolate, so. Why'd you make us stop for chocolate? Uh, I 
didn't make us stop for chocolate. I think Great. you did. Here. A plus parallel parking. It was absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful in here. The history of Detroit, um, you know, it was built in the 1920s, which was like a golden era in Detroit, basically, by Albert Kahn. So it is gorgeous. And the best part of all is that it's completely free. But yeah, it's put on by Pure Detroit, and they have it at the Fisher Building and the Guardian Building. Completely free and super knowledgeable, super nice people. So that was great. Next on our list is dinner. Because I'm starving. So we have dinner reservation at Lady of the House, and I think we're going to go home and get ready and then go to dinner. Last night we went out for dinner to Lady of the House. So we had the Brussels sprout salad, which was good, lamb wine, which was really tasty, mushroom ravioli, which was good, but unfortunately it was a little too salty. But then they recommended that we try their carrot steak, which I guess is a dish that they're quite known for. Carrot steak and probably the lamb wine were my two favorites. So this morning we are headed back downtown and we're gonna drop in to CrossFit BMW um, and then we're gonna go for brunch. They didn't have enough working rowers, unfortunately, so we weren't expecting to have to run outside in the cold. But yeah, it's like 25 degrees out, so it was, it was brisk. Um, but it was good. We haven't gone for a run in a while. Pretty small. There's probably only 10 people in the class, and it was getting kind of cramped. And now we're hungry, so we're headed to this small little diner called Rose's Fine Foods. You would miss it if you didn't know what you were looking for, but it's delicious, and we're excited because we're hungry. Yeah. So we just finished our brunch at Rose's and it was really good. It's really nice cute and quaint inside there. And what Roses is known for particularly is that they pay all of their employees a living wage. And so we just came here to Belle Isle um, with the plan of going to the conservatory, which is the building that's behind us. Unfortunately, it's closed. So Belle Isle is a state park in the Detroit River, uh, right between Detroit and Canada. And the conservatory is an absolutely beautiful building. It's historic and it's free, which is awesome. So it's always worth a stop, but unfortunately it's closed. But what's also here right next door is the aquarium. So we are going to go pop over there and see what's going on at the aquarium and see what kind of shots we get inside.
It is snowing and it's a little chilly, a little wet out, but we just stopped into the Royce for a quick glass of wine, which is a really cool wine store slash wine bar. Yeah, they have a really great selection of wines. Yeah, we went there the first time, I think, because they're one of the few places that have the natural wines. Yep, Jason. natural and uh, orange wines and pet nats. Pretty hard to find around here. And right now we are headed to meet some friends for dinner. We're going to a restaurant called Flowers of Vietnam. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. They uh, started as a pop-up um, on the weekends only inside this old Coney Island, but now they've taken permanent residence there. No surprise, Jason's really hungry. Yeah.